sixty thousand. Yeah. Okay. Can we talk yeah. about that, Claude? How yeah. you would negotiate a deal where the repairs come back <laughs> higher than what you anticipated? Hey, Mr. Scott, you know, Claude Diamond again, thank you so much for getting back to me, sir, and coming on video. I just had someone do an inspection on the property, and it looks like generally, you know, you, um, you gave me a round number. I know you're not an expert, a contractor. You said 40000 It looks like it's going to be closer to 55000 Is that, can we renegotiate this deal, or is it over? Um... I can send well, you, I just emailed you the, uh, uh, the uh, invoice from my contractor here. Looks like it needs some work on the heating system, on the roof, needs a new hot water heater. So that's 15, I was negotiating based on the numbers you gave me, but it looks like it's $15,000 more. Can we, move for, can, we, um, can we move forward or should I leave you alone, sir? Well, um, how, how much are you uh, thinking about reducing the price from what 15,000, sir. <laughs> 15,000? Yes, sir. Well, I can get that done for probably about 7,000. Okay, why don't you get it done and then call me back? When, when will that be, in April or May? Well, I'm trying to sell it and, you know. I'm trying, to buy, I'm trying to buy it, sir, but the numbers, and if you want to do the repairs, that's wonderful. I'll still, I'll, I'll do a deal with you. If you can make those repairs subject to uh, the outline from my contractor, I'll do a contract with you right now for $7,000 difference. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Um, so you're 15,000, I do the repair. Nah, I was hoping to get the, the, that full amount. Uh, well, I was, I was hoping to be six foot two, but God made me five eight. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. You sure, sir. Uh, you know, you know what, sir. I really enjoy doing business with you. And but once I get off this phone, that's it. My offer is off the table. Are you sure you? I don't want you to have regrets when I get off this phone. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Is the phone ringing off the hook during this pandemic with offers like I'm making? No, I've had some offers, but nobody's gotten back to me. You're the only one that's gotten back to me. You want me to tell you the truth, or just make you feel good before I leave? Uh, tell me the truth. If you and I don't do a deal right now, you're probably making one of the greatest financial mistakes in real estate you ever did. Are you sure this is the way you want to go? Well, I didn't uh, expect to have a $15,000 haircut. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, it's an unexpected, it's called real estate for a reason, sir. So do you want a sure thing? Get this property sold, you make some profit, or do you want to lose a highly probable prospect like myself? You decide, sir. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, I'm not can, trying to press you. That's exactly can I, can what I'm I think doing. About it? Can, <laughs> I, can, I, can I think about it? Give me an hour or so. Uh, you know, usually I tell people you're not allowed to think about, but I'll tell you what, can you call me back in exactly one hour? You're a man of your word. I know that about you, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. Call, no, me, I, back in, call me back in one hour. You have an iPhone, don't you? Yes. Call me on FaceTime and, and let's make a decision whether to move forward or if it's over I'm in that next phone call. Is that fair? That's fair. Talk to you in one hour. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Boom. That's, they call it guts for a reason. <laughs> let's, uh, time is going. That was a good role play, Chris. Give him a round of applause. That was good stuff. That was a really good one. That was a good one. I'm glad we're recording this. I want to I switch gears real fast, guys. I made up a little mind map here.